All right, everyone, I'm James Lopez, and here's how it all went down. I grew up in the Ironbound section of Newark, New Jersey for about six years, went there to school for 11 before my parents went full-on suburb in the Sayreville School District, where I spent the remainder of my middle and high school years. I always had a pretty diverse friend group growing up, and I credit them for getting me into hip-hop. We went from jamming out in cars together to eventually seeing concerts together. We saw A Boogie once, A Boogie twice, Travis Scott on the Astro World Tour, J. Cole on the KOD Tour, Meek Mill, and my personal favorite, Future, on the Legendary Night Store. More times than not, we almost always have music playing, no matter what we're doing. Marcus usually runs dogs, because God help us if Dylan ever gets a handle on the music. My friends have really taught me a lot over the years. For the longest time, I really lived in my own little bubble. Something changed that made me realize that my reality is different from my friends. And although the size of Dylan's forehead has changed over the years, that's not what it was. So then what was that thing that changed for me? It was when Trayvon Martin was shot in 2012, and then Michael Brown in 2014. It was these two instances that made me realize my reality is going to be vastly different from my friends growing up. And when I realized this, I didn't want to just live in my own bubble anymore. I wanted to talk. We've met Jared before in this project. He's the reason I have a copy of White Fragility on my desktop at all times. Jared has always really been my point guy to go talk about social issues with and to help me understand a reality I'll never have to live in. Shout out to the thumbs up, thumbs down group chat. If you know, you know. Unfortunately, this project has a time cap on it, so I'm going to be as brief as I possibly can be. Growing up, school really didn't fit to the type of person that I was. I was never really built to sit down and go through lectures. And that's one of the things that brought me over to the College of Education. I really wanted to help students like me and all types of learners feel like they're valued in the classroom. So after having a class with Dr. Adjipant on culture, communities, and schools, protesting with the Concern 44 on campus, reading a book by Chris Emden, and eventually meeting Chris Emden, going back to my hometown of Newark to do 60 hours of preclinical observations, taking a trip to Tokyo to compare their education system versus the US education system, and more viewings of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse than I'm proud to admit, I realized something. In the film, Brooklyn teenager Miles Morales is bitten by a radioactive spider and is given a number of remarkable abilities. Miles is able to climb walls with his hands and feet, he can sense oncoming threats, and he has increased strength and agility. That's new. As the film progresses, Miles meets different spider people from other dimensions who share the same abilities as him. However, Miles learns that he has abilities that are unique to him. He can shock people to touch with electricity, and he can turn himself invisible. Although Miles has these outstanding unique abilities, he doesn't know how to put them to use. It's only after Miles is taught and mentored by another Spider-Man that he gains the confidence to use his unique abilities and successfully beat the film's main antagonist. So you're probably asking yourself, James, what does Spider-Man have to do with any of this at all? Well, my journey's brought me to this realization. I believe that every single student is just like Miles Morales. I think every single student has a number of remarkable abilities that can help them tremendously succeed academically. And I think that it's the role of the teacher to make students realize this within themselves, just like the other Spider-Man was able to do with Miles. So how do I do it? Well, it's simple. I don't teach like a textbook or a theorist. I teach with hip hop. I teach culturally relevant. I really get to know my students before we delve into any book, really. I think that every student is special, and I think that every educator has the opportunity to make the students realize that they're special. And with that being said, I'm going to let Miles end this off with a few words. I never thought I'd be able to do any of this stuff, but I can. Anyone can wear the mask. You could wear the mask. If you didn't know that before, I hope you do now. I'm Spider-Man. I'm not the only one. Not by a long shot. Innocent say I keep a check. She was a bad bad, nevertheless.